Advanced Tactics, Black Knight, Transformer, Flying Jeep. Experimental Vertical Takeoff and Landing, Cargo Resupply System. The Experimental Black Knight Transformer represents a unique concept in battlefield delivery, a vertical takeoff and landing, minded transport platform. Logistics and transportation has always been one of the unique challenges facing war planners through the ages. The modern age has now revealed unparalleled capabilities, made possible through advanced technologies. Advanced Tactics, a technology-focused concern founded in 2007 in El Segundo, California, has developed a dual role, multi-purpose system, known as the Black Knight Transformer, capable of vertical takeoff and landing, forward flight, and on-road off-road driving to provide the American military with an all-in-one solution for delivering cargo extracting wounded to from hard-to-reach areas. Advanced Tactics markets its Black Knight as the world's first rotable vertical takeoff and landing vehicle. Ripsaw M5 is a robotic combat vehicle. Ripsaw M5 is a robotic combat vehicle, RCV, developed by Team Ripsaw, which consists of Textron systems, How and How, and Floor systems. The RCV is built based on How and How's expertise in building purpose-built ground vehicles, such as EV3F1, EV3F2, and EV3F4. The vehicle also uses FLIR's technological innovation and experience in unmanned vehicle technology and Textron's expertise in defense and technological disruptions. The team Ripsaw exhibited the M5 RCV at the 2019 Annual Meeting and Exposition of the Association of United States Army, held in October 2019. Based on the design and technicalities of the EV3F4, the unmanned ground vehicle is modified for combat applications. The Ripsaw EV3F4 is one of the world's fastest dual-tracked vehicles serving the luxury segment customers. The FLIR 360 degrees perception technology gives the unmanned vehicle the flexibility during critical missions. The algorithms of the system sensors can work in common environments, as well as in challenging conditions with fog, sun glares, and low visibility. The tank can be installed with medium caliber weapons and missiles. The Protector medium caliber turret 30, MCT 30, on the UGV is armed with a 30mm 40mm Bushmaster cannon and a 7.62mm coaxial gun. The automatic cannon is fed by a linkless ammunition handling system. Ripsaw M5 is powered by either a 1,500 horsepower gasoline engine or a 1,000 horsepower diesel engine. The engine is coupled to a hypo-automatic transmission system supplied by Allison. Advanced Tactics Panther Quadcopter Ground Mobile Robot Prototype the, the Advanced Tactics Panther is being developed as an autonomous air ground robot for payload and sensor carrying. The Advanced Tactics Panther is marketed as an autonomous surveillance, delivery, small, unmanned aerial system. Its inherent value is in its ability to run along the ground, like a small truck, and take to the air as needed, with helicopter-like capabilities, vertical takeoff, and landing. The latter is accomplished by way of six small motors mounted onto six individual wing stubs found along the sides of the vehicle's roof line. A high-definition camera in the face of the vehicle hull provides real-time views of the action ahead. The wheeled nature of the design offers both two- or four-wheel drive for navigating smooth and uneven terrains, respectively. Internally, the small robotic vehicle can haul up to 10 pounds of cargo and there are several mission equipment options offered such as additional cameras, specialized sensors, and controllable robotic arms for maneuvering items. The flight system is programmable with some autonomy possible. The drive-to-flight and flight-to-drive modes are accessed with little work. General Dynamics Griffin Infantry Combat Vehicle Prototype the General Dynamics Griffin is one of several high-profile designs competing to replace the Bradley IFV family for the U.S. Army. In U.S. Army service, the Griffin III would fulfill the primary role of mobile support for its brigade-level combat teams, bouncing between offensive and defensive duties as needed. Recent combat actions in Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria have rewritten the roles of armored warfare doctrine to an extent, and many armies are gearing their near-future inventories to meet the new environment, 
one that is very different from what was evolved during the Cold War period, 1947 to 1991. The original Griffin model of 2016 was shown with a 120mm main armament. The Griffin III model of 2018 has since been evolved with a 50mm autocannon as standard armament. The Griffin is a 40-ton vehicle, classified in some sources as a light tank, has qualities more akin to an infantry combat vehicle, or infantry fighting vehicle, centered on high modularity for having a single design fulfilling a plethora of battlefield roles. On paper this makes for lower production and procurement costs, eases long-term logistics, and allows for a single chassis to be used to form the framework of other vehicle types, while also ensuring some level of future-proofing as new technologies become available. Both the internal and external portions of the vehicle will be changeable to suit the customer's battlefield requirement. In this way, a single example can be outfitted to cover various roles, namely protected battlefield ambulance, command, and control, and armored recovery vehicle, Boston Dynamics, Big Dog. Rough Terrain Cargo Hauling Battlefield Robot. The United States military has since shelved the Big Dog Battlefield Mule Robot concept for the time being. Big Dog is a robotic product currently under development by Boston Dynamics of Waltham, Massachusetts. The company holds origins tied to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and has been in existence since 1992. Big Dog represents one of a handful of well-known robotics projects currently under development and funded by DARPA's Tactical Technology Office. The US DOD's Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency holds the intention of militarizing Big Dog to work in conjunction with US ground forces at the squad level, the vision being that of Big Dog carrying extra equipment and weighty items for troops on the move, freeing up soldiers to last longer and do more. At its core, Big Dog is a true quadruped robotics system utilizing a system of hydraulics and actuators under computer control. The robot operates on commands via a human-managed remote control unit, and is designed specifically to manage uneven terrains, keeping up with fellow soldiers at crawling, walking, or running speeds, up to 4.4 miles per hour. Four jointed legs at each corner of the body handle its steps, while an integrated balancing system ensures that the Big Dog stays upright. During testing, Big Dog consistently proved its ability to quickly recover from being pushed along one side. Additional testing has also placed Big Dog on its spine, only to see the system stand upright under its own power. Onboard sensors and programming allow Big Dog to navigate varying terrain, including trees, rock, snow, and muddy surfaces, without the need for precise user interaction. Onboard systems are managed by Big Dog itself. Rain Metal Lynx, KF. Infantry Combat Vehicle, ICV, Prototype. The advanced Rain Metal Raytheon Lynx KF-41 is a candidate to replace the venerable M2 Bradley IFV Vehicle Series for the U.S. Army. The 40 Fort on KF-41, debuted in 2018, is dimensionally larger than the KF-31 and has the rank transmission fit while carrying eight combat-ready personnel. Power is from a 1,140 horsepower unit offering road speeds reaching 70 km per hour. The armament fit is the Lance 2.0 turret emplacement which carries several primary and secondary survivability systems as well as the electrically powered 35mm autocannon. The mission pods along each side of the turret can support ATGM launchers to enhance the vehicle's tactical value particularly against enemy tank and other vehicle threats at range, and can also house battlefield UAVs which can be dispensed in a kamikaze-like role, serve to gather intelligence on enemy strength and positions, or actively jam enemy communications. The onboard systems allow for automatic target identification and tracking, while also firing on the move thanks to its digital control scheme. Turret Vision and its natural traversal span, is a full 360 degrees. The KF-41 model has a payload of up to 6 tons for maximum mission flexibility. The KF-41 marks the beginning of a whole new generation of combat vehicles centered on a modular-minded battle chassis suitable to take on other needed battlefield roles. These mission kits allow the ICV to become a multi-purpose APC, Battlefield Ambulance, Command, and Control, C2, or Armored Recovery Vehicle, ARV, 
with some modifications to the hull structure, and appropriate equipment being added, usually at the expense of the original turret fitting of the IFV model. Rainmetal claims their vehicle can be modified to a new battlefield role in as little as 8 hours and the benefits of cost, maintenance, and logistics of a shared chassis are certainly obvious. Even the system's architecture within is modular and adaptable to suit customer requirements. Likewise, protection levels are modular and can be organized in a way to suit the mission need in current fighting environment. Survivability of the KF-41 centers on ballistics, missile, mine, and improvised explosive device, protection. Again, the armor protection scheme is designed to be as modular as possible to support modification of the vehicle in the field and to the current battlefield danger. While other frontline combat vehicles reduce weight by thinning out top-facing surfaces, the Lynx enhances this traditionally we carry a by including protection again lighter-minded, cluster-based munitions attempting to disable the vehicle from above. There is also active passive missile protection offered by systems installed in the turret which is critical to surviving the threat of the ATGM as well as the more irregular aspects of the rocket-propelled grenade weapon.